Howdy! In this week's episode, we're going to continue the interview series from the RC show, and we're going to cover three new interviews starting with a fantastic closed loop service for recycling chopsticks and two suppliers that have single use plastic band alternatives for cutlery and portion cups. What's shaking, folks? My name is Ilesh P, and you're watching Food Packaging TV, where we bring you the latest in innovation industry news, and of course, food packaging. Andrew's not here to tell you that, but I am. It's good to have you. Let's hit it. We are here with Mr. Scott Anderson from Chop Value. Scott, you gotta tell me a little bit about your company. It looks very unique. What do you guys do? Well, first, thanks for having me. And yes, we are unique. I'm gonna agree with you on that. Uh, so what we do, we literally go around uh, restaurants here in Toronto area and we collect chopsticks. We take the chopsticks back to our facility, we process them, and we turn it into all this product you see behind us. So we will do anything from charcuterie boards to coasters all the way up to full-on tabletops in a restaurant. So we've built out restaurants where we've done their walls, we've done their tabletops, all of reclaimed chopsticks. We call it circular economy, and in some cases, we're collecting chopsticks from the same restaurants we're providing the tables for. So it's a full circular, circular solution. So we literally drop off boxes. You see them over there, they're in the corner. But we drop off boxes at restaurants. I have a guy, a driver, goes around once a week, collects bags of used chopsticks, put a clean bag in, brings it back to our facility, and we process them from there. And then we literally can make anything our raw material starts basically as a tile, eight and a half by eight and a half, and from there we can manufacture almost any wood product from that. So we've done a distributed manufacturing model. So the original concept was in Vancouver, started about five years ago, and basically wherever there's a chopstick supply is where we set up a new micro-manufacturing facility. So we're all about 3,000 square feet, and we each collect somewhere anywhere between 100 and 500 kilograms per week of chopsticks and we keep it local. So we're not shipping across the country, we're not importing, we're keeping it locally, keep our carbon footprint low as well on top of everything else. So we've got locations literally globally right now. So we're in Vancouver, we're in uh, Toronto, Calgary has a location in Canada, and then we're also in the US, we're in Singapore, Mexico, uh, we've just opened one in Bali, and now uh, we're expanding as we go. Yeah, so please just jump on our website, contact us, reach out. So I'm the local owner of Toronto. Uh, if you're in any of the other locations, reach out. Even if you're not, reach out to us. We have all our product listed at shopvalue.ca. And uh, yeah, we'd love to hear from people. Mr. Scott Anderson, thank you very much for taking the time to speak with us. We wish you all the very best on your journey at the RC Show. And we'd love to talk to you soon. Thanks very much, I appreciate the time. We are in the Eco Pavilion at On Green Go with Mr. Jerry Haddad. Mr. Jerry, thank you for being on the show. Hello, thank you. Tell me, what do you have to showcase to us today? Wow, we got some exciting stuff uh, going on. We got some compostable souffle cups that eliminate the plastics. So all those little ketchup stuff you get at restaurants or whatever, they're being replaced by sugar cane. We've got the sugar cane compostable lid as well. So it just covers up and stays in the foot. Really nice. They don't leak because they're leak proof, they're soak proof. You can actually even put these in a the microwave if you want to reheat something with it too. So they're very versatile. You hear a little squishing sound there. And then as you take it off, there you go. There's the two, four, six, and eight ounce sizes. And then you get into the larger soup bowls and stuff. Beautiful. Yeah. Jerry, how can people get in contact with you? We're on our website, on greengosolutions.com. Jerry, listen. Thank you very much for thank taking you. the time to spend with us. We hope that the RC show is going to be fruitful for Absolutely. you. So Thanks. once again, thank you. Appreciate your time. Thanks so much. We are here with Adrian Louis, Senior Account Manager at Origin Sustainables, and they've got some amazing single-use plastic band alternatives. Adrian, tell us a little bit about the products that you have to showcase today. Yeah, thanks for having me today. Um, some of the products that we have is an alternative to the single-use plastic bag. So we have a different variety of options. We have uh, bagasse, we have birch wood, we have bamboo, and we also have paper that will be coming, uh, coming out shortly as well. Yes, we do have the option of PFAS free. A lot of our customers are actually requesting it to be PFAS free, um, and that's something that we can offer as well. Um, so they can go to our, um, our website, which is OrgiSustainables.com, 
um, or you can also reach out to me on, on our company's information where we are state headquartered in BC but we also have warehouses in Montreal that we can service uh, the greater regions of Canada. Adrian, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us today. I appreciate you and your company for doing what you do and we wish you all the very best in the rest of the show. Perfect, thank you. And that's going to do it for this week's episode of Food Packaging TV. My name is Elesh P. Thank you for joining me. Stay tuned for our next installment of our RC Show interview series. And of course, please feel free to subscribe, like, share, and of course, comment, man. I'd love to hear from you. In the meantime, peace out. <laughs>